Hey guys, welcome back to this episode of Let's Play Paper Mario. And yeah, we're about to go to the final battle. And yeah, some things I did is that I reheal. I went back up the stairs and hit the heal block. And I also changed my badges around a bit off screen, so I'll let you see them here. Feeling fine, so don't get ailments. All or nothing for damage. Flat happy flower for flower points. This. Danger Mario build that I'm doing would be a lot more worthwhile if I had a lot more Power Rush badges. These things right here. But I didn't get them, I only got one. So it's kind of lame. I don't do as much damage as I could be doing. But that's good, that means this fight would be a lot more fun. Let's go in. Let's check this out. What they have in store for us. Anyway, I like having a challenge, so... Eek! Wow, that was really bad. Too bad for you, Mario. You're too late. What's going on? Gah, gah, gah. Look well in the coffin behind me sleeps the legendary treasure. This tomb holds the soul of that ancient demon, the wielder of destruction. It will possess Peach's body and bring life to the most powerful witch in millennia. Possess Peach? But Mario, I'm so sorry sending you that map. Caused all this trouble, didn't it? With the power of the demon, I will rule this pathetic world. The time has come at last. The world will be mine. Now, arise, arise, my Shadow Queen. As you guessed, the witch's name is called the Shadow Queen. It's also 11.39, and I don't feel like yelling out now. Because people are sleeping. As the candles turn from fire to shadow fire... And the coffin opens by itself as a green aura glows and shadow world winds encase the coffin. And as the Shadow Queen, with her nice curly hair with white stuff moving about, which is like dandruff, and a crown that is obviously too big for her and covers her eyes. As we go to a cutscene, where Shadow engulfs Rogue Port, as there's Toadsworth. Unknown what's happening. And we go on to Petalburg, which was the first location outside of Rogue Port that we visited. And there's a... Uh, no. I don't forget what his name is. But Big Eyebrows Mayor over there is unknown to, oblivious to what's happening. Uh, uh, what, um, what's going on? This ugly pink house. He's blind as a bat. And there's the tree with the secret entrance right there, and all the punies, all 102 of them. The elder wasn't part of the party, so he counts as one. As they all are outside for some reason, and see this. As Petuni talks to Punio. How the sky is going dark. And yes, the second, I mean the third place that we visited. Glitzville. Even though Glitzville is above the clouds, it still gets covered in shadow. That's a big WTF. As Jolene is, what's all this? The sky is turning dark as she points out the obvious. Good job, Jolene. You're on the ball. Who has called me back? It is I, my Shadow Queen. You. Very well, where is the vessel? It is here, the girl who lies before you. Oh god, she's gonna embody Peach. Yes, a fine vessel. Now. Oh god. Man, she's so skinny. She probably bought a size zero dress for all her occasions. And there's Twilight Town, which is already covered in shadow, which is actually really hard to tell, but it is. And key all keys and pie, eye patch is running around in circles. Or in a line, actually. And there is Pennington from Partially Heights. Am I deduced that this is the end of the world? It's a pretty good detective, actually, for that one. And there's the Russian bombs up in uh, Far Outpost. And their nice hats. And their mustache. What was that? Something terrible has happened. Okay, that was a horrible Russian accent. 
absolutely horrible. And there's Frankly in his closet, which is pretty big and spacious. No! Could that my dark power have truly awakened? No! This is unthinkable! I don't see the bump on his head. They said they made a bump on his head. They lied! As their shadow, Peach! <laughs> Witness my rebirth! My soul is not yet fully accustomed to this vessel, but I will learn to control this body soon enough. But Peach? Yes, my glorious Witch Queen! Destroy these impudent, impudent fools! Who are you that would command me? What sort of being are you? Huh? What do you mean? I thought you were bound to obey the one who woke you. Enough of this prattle. Do as I say. Now, or I will send you back to the depths. As Gerda's got owned. <laughs> you would do well to learn your proper place, slave. No one commands me. As Gerda's got owned. And her eyes are red and screaming. My powers are not yet fully restored. Which means she's more powerful than that. But they will come in time. What, what's going on, Mario? I, I don't. I don't. I don't. My queen. Who's that? Oh. The Shadow Sirens plus Duplis. You have returned to us. Ah, Beldam. What ages have passed? So, you are the one truly responsible for calling me back. Yes. Yes, my queen. I searched for a pure maiden that you might inhabit. And as I did, I spread the rumor of a great treasure. Then I led the fools who had gathered the crystal stars here to open the seal. Yes! You have fulfilled your duties admirably. She likes to use a lot of S's in her yeses. I'm not worthy, my, I mean, I'm not worthy, my queen. And who are these beings that stand before me? I'm Mario. Yes! See that she likes essence. They do not appear to possess power. But they may be of use. They will become my faithful servants. I will not harm you. But what do we do, Mario? I mean, no way we can agree to serve her. Um, if you say become her servant, it's game over. So I don't want to watch that cutscene again, so refuse to switch. Refuse to switch? I see, so you defy me. How amusing. Then you wretched fools, you will learn the error of your ways. As we enter two-on-one combat, in turn system fashion, you are foolish to oppose me. Yes, and that foolishness will have to be punished. Mario, if we don't defeat her now, the world is lost. So don't even think of it as Peach, we gotta fight with everything we have, let's go! As she tries to urge us on. Now, the damage you do during this stage, it won't really matter, so don't stress yourself over it. That's all I gotta say, really. Oh my gosh, what happened? I can't believe that like, Peach got possessed. That's awful. Now she's the Shadow Queen, the demon that destroyed the town a thousand years ago. Max HP 150, attack at 7, defense 0. She'll unleash big lightning attacks. She'll use magic to erase attack and defense or restore the HP. She might even try to drag us into darkness. I don't feel good about attacking Peach, but we have to do something. I don't think of it as Peach, we just have to, f to end, fight to the end, come on! Wow, that was a big rant. As I got lucky. Mario always gets lucky. Getting lucky is Mario's forte. We're gonna switch out for... Um... Whatever, let's attack. Haha! Take it that. Oh god. <gasps> attack and defense is boosted. Interesting. Anyway, let's bring out Coops. And Coops will do Shell Shield. Aww, yeah. Oh god. Oh man. That's powerful shizzling. Yeah, using Coops' uh, Shell Shield to protect Mario from this kind of damage is pretty handy. Pretty handy. Oh, come on! I did the stylish. Ow! Oh my god. That hurt. You know what, clown? Take that. Haha. As Coops will shell toss you. Yeah! Hmm. 
thing. So you are not weak. Maybe you're less useless than you appear. This body's unfamiliar to me. Yes, too unfamiliar. Let me assume my true form and show you real power. Oh god. Oh god. Uh-oh. In this form, your attacks are like those of a child to me. You are lucky. You'll perish with the honor of having seen true terror and power. <laughs> Alright, well... We're gonna continue this in the next episode of Let's Play Paper Mario, as we look like we are royally, royally screwed. So yeah, join us next time, see what happens. Later.